it's really difficult in families. You get divorced families, you get broken families, you get blended families, you get families where one parent has died, you get so many different sorts of families. But the family is the ultimate defense mechanism against the tyranny that we are being confronted with. So where does one draw the boundary between this idea of family? Like I got into a bit of a spat yesterday with this guy, Steve Laws. Oh yeah, I know on, Steve Laws. On social media. And he was talking about, you know, what are you gonna do about getting rid of uh, all of the foreigners? Right, you know, he has many good opinions, but many opinions that I would say are bad opinions too. But Steve Laws is a reaction to the, to the environment that he lives in. He's seen his country be invaded, uh, be destroyed, and he wants to return to what he knew to be good. But, f but for him, it goes further than it does for a lot of us. In that for him, he says, look, Britain is a white country for white people and everyone else needs to go. Now, of course, I would object to that because I'd say the genie's out of the bottle. I am half white English, but also half black Afro-Caribbean. Where do people like Steve Laws draw the line to be British? Doesn't, doesn't matter what race or religion you are, as long as there's a predominantly British culture. There has to be one pri primary culture that everyone subscribes to. How do you think the <laughs> two-tier Kia and the Notting Hill Carnival and fit into modern Britain. They can't. If, if Carnival was not a predominantly black event, it would have been cancelled and banned and, and labelled as far-right thuggery. The fact that it's got away with what it's got away with, how many stabbings were there, how many arrests, how many sexual assaults, it was a horrible, horrible event. It should not be happening in this country. Yes, when it was set up originally, it may have been in a, uh, a kind of event to celebrate diversity, but we don't need to celebrate diversity. Uh, and it's become a riot. It's not a, it's not a festival, it's a riot. And if, if we, you and I were organising it, we would have been in jail. So the fact that the mayor of London says this is a great uh, example of multiculturalism and the fact that the prime minister thinks it's a great ele element of diversity shows that they are the problem. And actually, we need to get back to ha celebrating Britain, celebrating England, celebrating the things that unite us, not the things that separate and divide us. I, um, my worry, and it's a major worry now, as I look at Keir Starmer, is that we, we are getting, we're going to have five years of absolute misery with him and the best he can come out with is we're going to ban smoking outside pubs but if you look at his statement when he went on tv he said it's a preventable cause of death well yes so is abortion Two hundred fifty thousand babies die every year of, of a, from abortion it's the biggest killer we have in in the united kingdom are you going to ban that too of course he's not it's just political he's stretching his power he's stretching his muscles like a, a, an opinion on whether he's an extrovert or an introvert he couldn't say his favorite poem couldn't say what books he'd read like he has no emotion no personality he's just a communist automaton is if you do not have faith and you do not believe you are very open to this, uh, as Gad said, calls it suicidal empathy of the left, who are terrified of dying. Yeah. And they're is. terrified of dying so much that they want zero everything, zero death. We've been through this before. And I think that um, we, we now have an obligation to go to seriously think about what it is that we're going to be able via our network to offer people as an alternative because I can't see Keir Starmer's uh, regime coming to an end by democratic means. I just don't.